Hi, what I'm doing today is I'm gonna mix some skin tones. I've gotten questions from people on an exact formula for mixing skin tones and um, I don't really have one. I use a formula based off of uh, from Cody's Coop. He's a Hong Kong modeler that has done a lot of figure kits, a lot of anime figure kits and you know uh, more realistic uh, figure kits. So I start based off of his and uh, mix my own. And this is usually done by eyeballing. So this is my batch that I've mixed and have been using for a couple of years now. So it's starting to run fairly low here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this, not, mix, not mess with it, but since I'm colorblind, this might help me. I'm going to do a swath on my white sheet of paper and that's going to be my base color. I'm going to take a pen and write in base so I know that that's my base. Once that dries up, I can have my uh, skin tone. This is my lighter skin tone, which I have you know, plenty of, but my base base uh, dark tone is uh, getting low. So, uh, basic formula is to use a from Cody's Coop is to use a orange yellow, a red. Uh, this one one, and a touch of sky blue. Now, since I don't have sky blue, I'm gonna use a. Uh, finishers foundation blue which is a fairly light blue so I only use a touch of this to tint this so that the skin tone balances out a little bit now this will be done last um, and eight parts of uh, Mr. White Base I'm just gonna use the entire bottle of this stuff now as I open this up I realized this bottle's empty. So, again, eyeballing this color, the cap plus this, this is kind of an orange yellow. I picked up a couple of Gundam color, you know, sets I have lying around, and I'm gonna pick the color that most closely matches up with this. That's a little too yellow, it's not as orange. This one is just almost about right. So this is Gundam color yellow number two. I capped this one back because I know that this is a little too yellow. Put that away. And this is an ochre one. I make that comparison. It's a little too mustard brown. So this goes away. And I'll use, whoops, almost spilled this all over the place. I'll use this plus a red that I have. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is decently mixed up. Now this red is a little on the thick side, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some thinner and add some thinner to that. Now I'm doing this just so that my paints are about similar um, viscosities. This will help mixing. This will help that eyeball process work a little easier. Clean this off. Now that I have my red and my orange yellow picked out. Set that aside, throw this bottle away, and get my base white. Let me go ahead and mix this up because this is a brand new bottle of base white that needs to be mixed fairly thoroughly. And 
and that's mixed decently. So what I'm going to do instead of one of these bottles, I'm going to use one of these bottles that you know I picked up in Hong Kong. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a couple of um, metal ball bearings in there. Yeah, run usually about five, three, four, five. Put the rest back, and this works as a nice little mixing tool for when I need to mix the paint as opposed to stirring this every time I need to get ready to paint. So I'm going to go ahead and start pouring this stuff in. And what's nice about these bottles is, you know, there's measurements on here. Here I've filled it up to about 15 or so, I believe. One, two, three, about a little over 15. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, this. Starting to get, you know, kind of a cream color. The red is really strong, so I would advise adding less red to start off with and see how that looks. And mixing that up, it's looking very, very pink in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more the white base. To hopefully lighten that up. And then I'll add the blue to give it that more natural skin tone look to it. the yellow Get off my strung rod. I'm going to do a quick swab over here and you can see the comparison. It's very, very pink. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of the blue and you can see how this blue will affect the overall tone. Sure, I clean off my string rod properly so I don't make any contaminations and add that blue. Just add a small amount of the blue first and mix that up. swab. It's getting a little less pink. 
pink. Let's add some more of that blue. This is a slow process because I'm mixing a fairly big batch of this stuff. Now you want to be careful, you don't want to add too much blue because this will start turning green as the tones mix. So what I'm seeing here is I might need a little bit more yellow. This is getting quite pink. Balance this out with some yellow. Starting to get the closer. I definitely need a little, definitely more yellow. Still pretty pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and work with the the brighter yellow and see if I could get this closer to this tone. Almost there. It was pretty close. Now it's a little, a little dark right now. now. Since I have this, the tone almost there, I could start adding some more white base to that to hopefully lighten everything together. I'm going to start capping these things to get so I don't spill anything.
That's pretty close. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the foundation blue to this. Just a slight touch. Now if you compare this, <clears throat> this skin tone with my light skin tone, the original dark skin tone with my light skin tone, eh, close enough. Now this is a concentrated mixture of this. I need to thin this out. Make sure this is so you can see the bottom from the two colors are close enough. Hard to see into that bottle. Let's see how different that is. Now that's a little bit. This is still a little bit browner than this. So what I will do is, it's a little too pink. Add more of this yellow. That will.
it's got a little bit browner than before. So I'll take another test swath. Person with the order of this. That's pretty close to the base that I had. So now, here I have a concentrated uh, skin tone, which I can use as my base. Now what I will do here is I will put a label on this so I know that this is my concentrated base. My concentrated base. Uh, let's be careful with this. From this, I could go ahead and create lighter lighter tones um, and whatever I have you know I could create more of this tone by just adding more white base to this and creating more of this light tone with my base concentrate now with this I want to create a airbrush ready mixture so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with some thinner this up put my label on here and label this as a B R D Y skin base there now after that process I have created another batch of skin tone. What I like to do is make one batch of this and make some variants. Process is, again, as you watch this video, I eyeballed through this whole process. Um, there's, there's a formula I start off with, but at the end of the day, depending on how, how, how thinned your 
base paints are and you know the exact tones of your your the paints you use that will change depend you know that will change your your, your formula so yeah. it takes some practice and um, I'm colorblind so I need something like this to help me kind of match this up thanks for watching